I just sent my chef in your kitchen to close it down because it's so freaking disgusting. He's serving that food to people, and he's going to get them sick. Nobody you wants to stand that? Hey, hey, nobody's getting sick. Really? Really. Let's go Let's in your go. kitchen. Let's go. Nobody's getting sick. What do we have here, chef? Nobody's Talk getting sick. Right over there is the Xfinity Arena, 10,000 seats. Think about that. You can do pre-event business. And you can do, and you bet. The trick to them then doing pre-concert business is what? Speed. Speed and efficiency. Yeah. So I got the ultimate test for them tonight. I have 10 friends coming in, and I've instructed them to come in, order food and drinks, and if they don't have all their food in a half hour, if they have to go to the show, they got to get up and leave. They have to go, yeah. yeah. So let's see what happens. Here they go, 10 top table. F me. Ah. So that could be a $50, $60 tip in that table. Easy. For you. <gasps> Did you see that? <laughs> and there's Elena. She's a bartender and a cook, which is a little scary. Yeah. Which makes me think she's probably half a cook and half a bartender and does right. neither well, right? Right, right. So we're five minutes in and haven't ordered yet, but the goldfish are taken care of. They haven't yeah. missed a beat on the races. What are we thinking? Can we get some Irish green tea shots? We are kind of going to have to have to go to that show. We I need 10 Irish green tea shots. Jesus Christ. OK, so they just bought 10 shots. Great table already. Shot, shot, shot. So they've now been inside for about 11 minutes. And they didn't order food. Guys, a group of customers like our recon are exactly who Yvette should be catering to. But no one's doing their job. Next fish! And Yvette is nowhere to be found. Unbelievable. She's smoking. We want to do appetizers. We want to do short rib nachos. What side do you want with that? In a bar like this, Chef, what would you say your absolute high-end ticket time would be? 12 minutes. Right, I'm with you. OK, so here we go. I got one, two, three, four, five tops. There's Gerald. He's your cook, Sean. OK. Oh, OK. Raw chicken with no gloves. Mm. Don't turn them anymore after after they sit. Come on, Lena. I thought you know how to make those. That was the waitress who jumps back as a cook part time. That's the bartender. This bartender, is the bartender who jumps back as a, as a cook. Strange system. So they've now been in this bar for 25 minutes, sir, and they just started making their food. I need 10 shots of well tequila. Give me a minute. This is the wrong plate. This isn't a nacho plate. So now, at this point in time, this is failure mode, right? Yes. Right. You have tots in for it? Yes. Is that what these are? Yes. The gentleman running the races jump in the line as well. John, is the goldfish racing right over? Right here. No, very last bracket. No, dude, last bracket. bracket. He's talking about the fish race. Who cares about the fish? Why the, all the green onions? OK. Did you That's a garnish. That's hey. wrong. OK. This wait's been over a half hour. The waiter start taking out, John. Yep, take out. Excuse me, half in. Pardon. Hi, guys. What's up? You do! Well, you want to take them to go or anything? No? John! Yeah? They totally just walked out. Unbelievable. All that food's gone. Go ahead. My recon table is walking out. They've been here over 30 minutes, and they didn't get their food yet. Fact of the matter is, I know the service stinks. Now I want to see how the food is. Here you go, love bug. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'd like to get all the food that that table ordered. All of it? Yep. Just put it up here. We're going to taste it all. Sit down, guys. Let's see what they were about to serve their customers. OK, this is a French dip. These are our pulled pork nachos. This is our nacho tachos. The chili burger. Our signature why not burger. OK. Enjoy. OK, chef, let's talk about this burger. Come on. It's a hockey puck. Dead piece of beef. You don't, don't do it. You don't want that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, disgusting. This is definitely the worst burger I've ever had in my life. And now, on to the nachos. Touch it, Phil. Feel it. Bad, bad, bad. This tastes like it was cooked months ago. That's nasty. No, she's right here. Sorry to bother you. You bet. Doesn't look good. Push on that. Yep. Should a burger push back on you? No. I, I don't have an answer. Well, they up the burger, right? Yes. One down. Yep. How about this? 
Is that one right, John? It sat in the window too long. It didn't get that way from being in a window. It got that way from being overcooked, right? OK. Now, how about that one, Phil? How's that one look? Oh, my stomach hurts just from looking at it. That looks like what my cat threw up in my living room this morning. I would never eat this if it came to my, my table. Because it's a complete failure. Oh, my gosh. He overcooked the cheese. That is not right. Oh, really? This isn't right? That is not Gee, right. Gee, that would have surprised me. How about if I mount it on the wall as a piece of decor? How does that look? Because it serves a better purpose on your freaking wall than it does on a plate. And you knew it when it came out here. It's not true. You have a venue across the street with 10,000 seats that lights up 200 times a year. And you're racing goldfish. I'm going to start working in the kitchen to turn this around so we don't put out food like that anymore. Are you as much of an idiot as you sound like? While you're having fun with your goldfish and while you're out there having fun with your cigarette, you're not doing what you should be doing. You're, you're doing what fun. And do you like losing 3000 a month, John? It's painful. Get your goldfish the f out of here. Burden the damn brackets. I want to see the kitchen for a minute. I have a brick of nachos that looks a lot better on the wall than it does the place. I want to go in and see exactly how dirty this place is. So this is disgusting. I agree. No, it's gross. Well, this, this is nasty. I mean, look at that. Touch yeah. it. You want to touch it? I, I, this is I see disgusting. It. What is this? It's catching grease from dripping out underneath the fryer. There's a pool of grease back here. Did you look oh, back there? No, I haven't seen it. No, I don't know. I'll go look in this corner. Oh, my God. Gerald, you're here the whole time, not wearing gloves, by the way. Both of them were. You were not. And this is the food that goes out. We screwed up. We let somebody who wasn't qualified either to help us. Who's responsible for food quality? Gerald doesn't think he is, because he's blaming it on everybody else. You're the idiot, because you don't hold him accountable, and you're going down the tubes because of it. What is this? It is the walk-in door. This is a residential door. I want to knock and see if somebody's home. Is this a walk-in or a kid's bedroom? I can't understand how you put a bedroom door on a professional walk-in and expect it to work. I've never seen this in my life. Can you smell it in here? It smells moldy, musty, right? I knew it wasn't a freezer door, but I didn't realize it was a problem. It's not safe. Right. It's at a dangerous temperature the entire time. You're going to Never kill somebody. Problem. It's a major health violation. This bar buys the worst products, holds it in an unsafe temperature, and then cooks it terribly. They do nothing right. I will come back tomorrow and give this about two hours of my time. You better clean this freaking kitchen, because here's the deal. I come back tomorrow morning. If it's clean, you proved yourself. If it isn't, I'm done, you bet. Get this place in order. <laughs> out of here. The whole kitchen is <laughs> Everything's Leaking, everything's dirty. This is not supposed to look like this. We got our asses kicked. I think we've been lazy. And we shouldn't be letting anything go out the window of food when it looks like what it did tonight. I'm embarrassed. Lena, do you think you have the skills to to pull through in a kitchen in a rush? Oh, yeah. If she stays, I quit. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Thank you. Thank you. And we're babying you again. No, no, no. Quit blaming. We can fix this as a team. We're fixing it. We're fixing it. Go ahead, boss. So there's Lee. He's the owner. He inherited a bunch of money, bought this bar. He now has about 300000 invested cash. And his father is funding his losses. Are you ready? $15,000 a month this guy's losing. Wow. Now his father is broke. Done. So he's tapped out his mother's inheritance and what his father had left. Josie, let me get some of the drink. How are you? There's Josie. She's a bartender. Right, let me get you some napkins. There's El Boogie, who's a bartender. You need anything else? That's it. Keep two in that straw. You nervous? There's Pineapple. Pineapple? Pineapple. OK. Who's a bartender. All right, come on. We'll be, we'll be taking a shot of y'all. And there's Nikita. She's a bartender. Can I get up? Cheers. Cheers. Look at the staff taking shots. Ooh. I hate when bartenders have to drink to work. I do not understand it. The 
bartenders are drinking more than the customers are. Yes, they are. You know, see that guy right there? His name is Church. He's a good friend of Lee's, and he's a chaplain. He's here all the time. Two more tacos. Sherry is cooking. OK. One order right there. Touching raw meat with bare hands. Cross-contamination all over. Look at that kitchen, buddy. Disgusting. Nothing but grease. And there's grease dripping all down the stove. No, it's the flat top. So, so that where is that coming from? The grease trap is filled, which is a fire hazard. So when you look at a kitchen like this, Chef, right out of the gate, we know there's no rules, because nothing's right. cleaned. We know there's no systems, because nothing is set up in an organized no. way. They just close up shop and go home. There's no way they clean up. We know there's no quality, because there can't be quality without systems and cleanliness. Absolutely. All of these things together looks like losing money. You're right. You're the taco room. This is ridiculous. What? Oh, my God. Give it to me so I can show Sherry. The chicken's raw. They're sending it back. Sherry, this is not cooked. We got major issues back there. And if we don't get it together, we are going to get people sick. Right. And where is Lee at this time? Playing pool. Still playing pool. You OK? I don't know about this place sometimes. I swear I don't. All I know is Lee needs to keep his boys away from me. Why are you even back here? Look at them. I don't even know why church is here. He doesn't even work here. Uh, uh, what we doing? So we have terrible customer service from the bartenders, raw food being served out of the kitchen, and Lee's friend messing around behind the bar. Not only is this upsetting customers, but it's also pissing off some of the employees. Lee doesn't seem to manage anything. No control, no supervision, no nothing. I'm hella mad. Wow. I can only take so much, man. I'm telling you, boy. You run this one now. I'm going to kick him. Face. Oh, I don't like this, John. I don't like this one bit. Wait, Church, you can't be coming back here right now, though. Seriously, Church. Church about to make me hit him. Hey, y'all got a tap? Don't go out. Back up. Back up. Back up. Hey, hey. hey. Uh, Look at him! Oh my god! They gonna leave! Y'all think I'm a bitch like that? They're still fighting. Now what's going on? I think what happened was we beat the up out of here finally. Man, that's crazy. It's just all kinds of that's going on right now. Man, that's crazy. I don't want to lose my dream. It's bad. It's really bad. Look at Lee like a broken man walking out of his bar. I'm going to go meet him and talk to him. Saying this bar is out of control is an understatement. I've got to talk to this man and understand how his family fortune can be invested in a business and him allow it to get so out of control. How you doing? How you doing, Ice Man? The way, right? Yeah. How much money do you have in this thing? 280000 Where'd you get that money? My mother left me some inheritance, and I borrowed some money from my dad. What the hell happened in that night? You know, the bartender sleeping with the woman, one of my best friends sleeping with the same chick. Every time they see each other, it's a consistent conflict every time. How much money are you losing a month? $15,000 a month. $15,000. A stranger came up to you and did that. You'd be mad, right? Right. How come you're not mad when a friend does that? He's done it before, hasn't he? Yes. And he's gotten away with it before, right? Right. That's why I'm pissed. I want you to be as angry as I am. When I come back here tomorrow morning, together we'll turn this around. Appreciate it. But you got to start tonight. I will. Take control of your business. All right. I think John is right. I can't let El Boogie and church destroy my dreams and my goals and my family. I can't. El Boogie, I got to have you out of here. For what? What'd I do? I should have fired you a long time ago and can't deal with it no more. And you get the out of here. All right. It's just bull This isn't the first time church will cause problems. It's not. That's what pissed me off. He got what he deserved. He asked for it, so he got it. So that's what I did tonight, just to let him know I was serious. Sorry. Starting tonight, I'm going to stop El Boogie and Church from coming here. 
I'm not gonna let these people push me around anymore. This is my business. I'm not gonna let them just tear it down the drain. What happened last night when I left? El Boogie got fired. That's true. Here last night after all that went down, I totally got a totally different outlook. El Boogie and Church, they always exploding, always going at it. But now look out. The violence is upsetting. Definitely. Imagine a new customer walking in here. Would they ever come back? Probably not. Never. Church does come behind the bar and does not listen. He does it every time he comes in. I've had several altercations with church. Whoever bartender is behind the bar is the boss behind the bar. You guys have the part to control that. There's not much more we can do, especially to a big man such right. as church. When somebody isn't treated with dignity who works for you, what do you do? You defend them. You protect their dignity. We weren't protected at all. <laughs> Come on, man. Some bullshit. See, the problem is this, Lee, and you have to understand this. If you do tomorrow what you did today, you're Do you get that? Yes, I do. What happened last night cannot happen again. Do you understand that? Yes. Church cannot walk behind this bar again. Do you get that? Yes. There are no excuses, man, or you're done. Do you get that? Yes. Lee is telling me what I want to hear, but his body language is telling me a different story. I'm not sure what I'm saying is actually registering with him. You guys ready to go to work? Yes. Yeah. OK, I brought some great experts with me. Lisa Marie Joyce, we need to really target a beverage program. That's why Lisa's here. Aaron McCargo is extremely creative in kitchens where we don't have a huge staff. OK, guys, we got a lot to learn. But first, chef, we got to go look in the kitchen, buddy. Yeah. This is your house. I'll follow you. I want oh, you to look man. in this. This is what's leaking all over your floor. I don't know. I ain't never seen it like that. We got a complete fire hazard here. Oh, sorry. This is crazy. Disgusting. You see this? Oh, what is that? When is the last time this has been changed? That means you don't give a. No, actually, I do. I shouldn't have to be the only one responsible for cleaning all this up. You know, Sherry's got to take ownership of this kitchen. She didn't have any defense because she should have took all those problems to Lee and asked him to bring her in some help. Is your house like this? No. No. Is your house like this? No. No. So why don't we all stop with the freaking excuses and take ownership of this failure? Fix it. I am ready to quit right now. I agree. This kitchen is a mess. But I'm not going to clean this kitchen every day all by myself. Shelby said his barbecue is burnt and is dried out. There's Ruth. Ruth runs the bar. There's Alan. He runs the kitchen. All right, 823. Oh, I see all these slips and no food. He was back, back there, there alone hard. when I went there, so I knew it was going to take him there. How long has it been since you got here? There's Vicky. She's a niece. So when Alan and Ruth fight, she's stuck in the middle. You're cooking, you're taking orders, and you work in the register by yourself. Stop trying to distract me from doing what I'm doing. I'm not doing. trying to distract you. Pay I'm... attention to what you got going in the bar. That's what I'm doing. I'm walking back and forth. It seems like this family gave up working together. He's serving really bad food. The boy is not responsible <laughs> for the kitchen. There's Clyde. He's Ruth's fiance. He comes here and helps out. So for recon, send in two locals. Hopefully, they understand that this bar is important to the community. How you doing? What do you guys have tonight? Any uh, menus? For drinks? Yeah. No, we don't. There's no cocktail menus. What if the bartender's not there that made the cocktail that you like? Is there anything else that you might make? That like might... a special yeah. to you? What do you like? Trying not to be too much on the sweet side for me. OK. Cocktails look like they're super sweet. Probably just syrup on top of syrup. This is a pomegranate kamikaze. Might be a little sweet. You have to mix it a little bit. It's terribly sweet. It tastes like lemonade. Okay. I came here just to check out the food. What's good on the menu? You have to order in the back. We can't do it from here. What do I order? You have to go oh, to the kitchen. There's no waiters, then no one's running any food. The bartenders strictly work on the bar, the cook strictly works in the kitchen, and nobody's helping anyone out. I'll be with you in one I'm second. I'm not in a hurry. I'm, okay, I'm, no, I'm reading the paper. OK. Let me get an order of wings and then a brisket. 
brisket? Do I pay here or Yeah, at... you pay here. This is an incredibly inconvenient way to take care of guests. They got separate registers for the front of the house and the back of the house. It is divided. Why did it take you so long? One guy is both cooking and cashier and order. This bar is known for barbecue. The food should be fresh off the grill, not stored in containers. Wow, that brisket is dry. This bar's a legacy, and, and they've let the legacy go down the drain. Looks like uh, friends are waiting quite a bit here. Can I ask you to check with the folks about the food? Thank you. Brisket and wings. Brisket ready, just waiting on the uh, chicken. Brisket is done, but the chicken not. Should I bring them the brisket? I would not serve that barbecue to anybody. She doesn't even want her staff selling the food. That's lost money to her. You should see the brisket. It is so dry. He has it in the oven. He's in the oven drying it out. Kitchen does not support the bowl. At all. And so I'm not going to support the kitchen. Everyone's sitting around, and nobody's being active in any way to solve the problem, because they are the problem. That is a lot of sauce. Thank you. Look at that mess. The brisket is dry as hell. And honestly, I don't understand how they're so dry with so much sauce. It's a lot of sauce. Can you taste the meat? I mean, I can tell the meat is there because I'm chewing it. Want me to take it back for you? I'm not going to finish it. Yeah, please. OK, sweetie. I'm scared about the kitchen. Don't worry, it's good. Ruth publicly shamed Alan's food. Now the customers are afraid to eat it. For every person that complains about their food, there's 26 quiet people that just don't come back. The guy that you just sold the brisket to, he took one bite. He said it's drowned in sauce, it's dried out. Brisket is not dried, but. It's dried out, special oven made. OK. Look at the lack of respect here. I told him to throw that barbecue in the garbage. Check on it. You got to back up to the quality level that we were at, that your father taught you. On the real side, I think my food is excellent. He would not serve nobody no barbecue three days old. Everybody was eating the food, buying it. This is wrong for you to serve people and call it barbecue. I was not born to eat barbecue off the refrigerator. I ate it off the grill. This bar's problems are far deeper than the filth. There's a dysfunctional family, resentment, attitude. Alan will not listen to Ruth and Vicky about the food. And Ruth's negative comments just pull this business down. Do this for me, Vic, Derek. Go in there, hit the kitchen, hit the bar. Tell them what you think. I'm going to watch you, and I'll go in in the morning. Got it, we're going in. Boss. Hi, Ruth. Hi. I'm Chef Vic. How you doing? Hi. John sent us in to get to the bottom of things. You don't mind me looking at the bar. Alan, this is the chef Alan, that John sent. I'm Chef Vic. So what we got going, Chef? Kind of seen a few things going on that I got a question. You know, you're letting meat sit out in unsafe temperatures. You know about danger zones? Under 40, over 140. Either you don't know or you don't care. I care, and I know. Anything between is a breeding ground for bacteria. That can make somebody sick. What temperature you think this meat is? 114. This should be over 140 degrees. Is this your good old macaroni and cheese? OK, it's cheese. It's got dairy in it. You're at 73. You're going to give someone the sh bro. Alan does not listen to me. I can't help someone that doesn't want help. That goes both ways. OK, when have you, you told me something listen, in the morning? Listen to me. I'll listen to you. You're not always right. I'm you're, not that's perfect. what your actions I'm say, bro. And that's what your actions. I know I know I can cook. Alan. People were throwing it in the garbage. Just listen, work with me. I can take criticism. Hey, then, why were you still, why were you still selling that barbecue then? All as we're seeing is people complaining about what the problems are, and nothing's getting done. We can only help people that want to be helped. Here, here's the deal, OK? You two need to figure this out. Come on, please. Please get it together. I can't do this. It just, it almost destroyed me. 
I don't want to fight anymore. A lot of the things that you said, I was pissed off at you. I do not want to lose this place. I don't want to be my brother's enemy. I love Alan. I don't like him, but I love him. We, we really do want to save our father's legacy, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. So guys, this is a beer bar. He has over 60 types of beer. And Colorado is number two in the country Absolutely. for craft beers. So if I got two people to go in that really know their beers. Let's see if he's taking the time to learn about beer. What's your favorite style? Um, you want something on draft or you want something? You know what I think I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try the chocolate yeah. style. Yeah. He just walks out with garbage in his hand. Let's see if he uh, washes those hands when he comes in. Okay. He didn't wash his hands, John. No. He walked outside with a garbage can, came, came in. Came back in, never washed his hands. Walked right by the sink. Oh, what? Changing a paper towel. Now he's going in a bathroom. We have now cross-contaminated to the bathroom. So he's out back now having a cigarette, wiping his sweat on himself. You're a hospitality professional. You put on a clean shirt when you come to work, don't you? Absolutely. He's wearing a dirty T-shirt. He's unshaven, sweaty as hell. When a person comes in and finds you unclean and unpresentable, their first impression is that everything else is going to fall in line. Right behind the bar. I want to see if he washes his hands. He didn't wash his hands. And the transfer continued. Oh, my god. He might as well just wipe his ass on everything in that place. Mm, right to the ice scoop. So now everything going forward is now contaminated. Right. Ten bar, you can see he's got some motions, right? Oh, I take that back. Oh. Look at this guy. You guys got me too well. Bottoms up. He's been given every opportunity in the world. And this guy's not doing a damn thing about it. Oh, no, he is. He's having a drink. Can we get some food, please? Um, in the Sloppy Joes, I make from scratch. The Sloppy Joes are killer. Yeah? Two Sloppy Joes? Yeah. Go. Cool. So this guy is a complete rookie. Oh, look at this freaking place. What is that, guys? That is a foreign substance. Mystery meat? That is something that would not get within a foot of my mouth. Do you right? see the layer of fat. whatever that is? It's a layer of fat that comes to the top. Meaning that container hasn't been changed in days. And every day at the end of the shift, you're supposed to transfer one container into the other. What the hell is he doing here? Oh. He is wearing gloves, so I'll give him that. OK, there we have a little moisture. I love water in my meat. In the microwave? And who cares if the buns are just sitting on the stainless steel countertop, you know? I'm sure uh, it's not dirty. Oh, uh, nuking the bun on nothing. Maybe wearing gloves, but he's touching everything that he can possibly touch. Oh, my god. He's sweating on everything. Look at the grease running out the back of the vents. Look how delicious that looks. Holy I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. I wouldn't serve this food to a freaking inmate. You notice the gloves, guys? You see any gloves anywhere? Four gloves. gloves. So the gloves disappeared somewhere. He never washed his hands, but he removed the gloves. It's a big health hazard. Oh, man. This is illegal as hell. And the we can, guys. We can't let this food go out of the kitchen, and we can't let these drinks go out of the bar. No! OK, let's go in. Let's shut it down. Sean. Yes? Stop sweating for a second. Come talk to me. OK, let me get this straight. Are you making money? I'm losing $4,000 a month. How do you lose $4,000 a month in, the, in a bar this small? Are you, you paying the rent? No, I'm not paying my rent. So this is your dream. You get a freaking bar given to you like this. I do, yeah. You worked a year, and this is it? This is it. What about where you live? How are you paying your rent? My mom's paying my rent. What's your name? Pam. Pam, how old are you? 33. Your mother is paying your rent. Yes. I just sent my chef in your kitchen to close it down because it's so freaking disgusting. He's serving that food to people, and he's going to get them sick. Nobody hey, wants to stand that? Hey, hey, nobody's getting sick. Really? Really? Let's go let's in your go. kitchen. Let's go. Nobody's getting sick. What do we have here, yeah, chef? Nobody's getting me. sick. Let me let you know let's something get, right let's now. Get a shot. I've been watching you. You smoked the cigarette. You took out the trash. You didn't wash your damn hands. Right away. Did I wear the gloves? You carried out garbage. You never washed your hands. And you touched food. Right? And you're gonna make people sick like that, bro. You're right. gonna make people what do you sick. Want me to do? What do you want? Me to what do? damn hair! You got water in here because you had it in the sink, and the water got in there from the dirty sink. 
the kitchen is closed out. Since this market is about young, my daughter is 28. She represents Jack Daniels in the liquor distributing business. So for recon tonight, my daughter Sam is going to walk through that door in a minute. I asked her to sit at the bar, and let's see what happens. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Welcome to Liquid. Sam knows me. She knows what I'm looking for. Yes, she does. Did you say Jack and soda? OK, no problem. Thank you. That'll be $7. Wow, so she's paying $7 for Jack and Cola. That's an expensive cocktail. There you Thank go, you, You're welcome. Wouldn't a Jack and Cola be three parts Cola to one part Jack? To be balanced, absolutely. Oh! oh. Look at the look on her face. How do you blow a Jack and Cola? Can I have a couple more limes, too? She's trying to dilute it a bit so it's palatable. She's chasing flies away from her limes. What, did he bring food in from the outside? Yeah. He just walked in with that bag. But would you let them bring food in if the kitchen was open? No. Why would we do that? Why would I work against myself? Look at Rob standing there watching them do this with his arms crossed. Who's running this place? It's hmm. a good question. Do you guys have a menu? Menu? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. There's some of it. You go to the window, order up there, he'll tell you where he's got. I'm not sure I can let her eat there. So she can't even find the guy to place an order. Look at how she stands in the window looking in that disgusting kitchen. If there was ever a kitchen in a prison, that's that what it looks like. like. <laughs> Can I do a shrimp for that? Yeah, I'll do that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, what is that? He's skewering oh some gosh. shrimp. Do you think that shrimp is fresh? That's raw. And then he's, he's touching, touching everything. Oh. Now he has shrimp juice all oh. over the handle. Look at this. What the hell oh. is that? Is that even clean? I would not eat that. This bar is freaking disgusting. This fruit flies flying around Sam. She has to put napkins over a freaking glass. Can we serve these cocktails, Rob? Absolutely not. Can we serve that food? John, you cannot let her eat that. She's going to be sick. So we have dirty surface. There's filth freaking everywhere. Let's stop this, guys, before somebody gets sick. You want to hit the kitchen? Hit the bar? OK. John Taffer. Welcome. Rob McCarthy. Nice to meet you, Rob. Nice to meet you. Come with me for a second. Can you give me the fruit, please, from under the bar? Look at these guys. Did you see the, the color? Do you want to serve, you want to serve that? Uh, no, sir. Do you want to eat that? Yeah, no. How many fruit flies have you gotten like this tonight? That's good. All night long, correct? Yeah. How about these olives? Oh. Rob, feel the slime in this. You know, uh, olives are put in formaldehyde for the most part to kind of keep them going for a long time. And they smell like egg, which means the formaldehyde is turned. So let's dump these over here, because now I know the bar will get clean. Right, guys? How about this one? Is that fresh? It's cut tonight. That's not cut tonight. It isn't cut tonight. Only some of them were cut tonight. So gotcha! Old fruit! Look at this, guys! Look at it! Oh my God, oh my God. Tiffany, talk to me. This hasn't been cleaned in probably a year. You got stuff in here unwrapped. That needs to go in the trash. You got all of this down here that you're serving people. I mean, look at this frickin' place. When is this from? Do we know? No, of course not. So when the hell is that? Do you understand that this entire place is cross-contaminated with bacteria? I don't even want to breathe in this room. Everything here is disgusting. Rob, if you can't clean this bar up, then you owe it to society to close it. But you cannot operate it like this. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Why am I more angry than you? It's not my $400,000. I can't help him if he stands here and doesn't give a I don't blame you. Somebody better talk to him because he has to be different for me to help. Do you understand that? Yeah. I love you, Rob, but you need to step it up. This is about the safety of your customers. This is about the community, the people that come here. Either you frickin' care or you don't. So what do you say? I'm willing to fix it. You're willing to fix it. We'll give it our best. No, that's not good enough. Either this place is frickin' clean tomorrow, and I'll help you, or shut it down because what you're doing is irresponsible. Let's get out of here, Tiff. This is unbelievable. I'm wasting so, your time. We're cleaning it up tonight, Rob. Got to do it. We 
We've got a lot of work to do. I'm embarrassed, shocked. Cross-contamination is a horrible thing. I was disgusted with the filth. John actually scared the heck out of me. I had no idea that we were endangering folks, so. <laughs> that was hard. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.